Hi guys, welcome to Bitcoin Gem channel. I hope you all are doing great. So in this video, we are going to look into one altcoin gem, which is currently at around $10 million market cap. And this is looking very interesting project to me. And that's why I'm sharing this with you. So if you're joining me for the first time, do subscribe to the channel, like this video and join the Bitcoin Gem family. And guys, none of the things that I say is a financial advice. So please do your own research. Do not go by my words do your research i can be wrong so in today's video we are going to look into unmarshall which is a small cap gem in my opinion and this project looks very interesting to me so what is unmarshall unmarshall basically is a multi-chain data infrastructure for the entire web3 or crypto space so infrastructure for metaverse for DeFi, for play to earn games for nft if I want to simplify to make this very easy for you and I won't make very technical, uh, Unmarshall is in a way graph protocol. And if you all know graph, graph is a multi-billion dollar protocol and Unmarshall today is at approx $10 million. Yeah, at approx $10.3 million market cap. This is the gem that I wanted to share with you when I had tweeted that there is an $8 million market cap gem that I want to share with you. I'm very excited about the project. I'm really excited about this project and I find this project really interesting. So that's why I'm sharing with you. Uh, so basically they are chain agnostic. They are supporting multiple chains. You can see over here, they are supporting Binance, Ethereum, Zilliqa, XDC, Algorand, Polygon, Celo, Solana and almost every major layer one blockchain they are supporting and this is a b2b uh, business so they do not directly interact with the end user but they interact with blockchain so different blockchains are their customers and interacting with blockchain providing different indexes so that they get different datas that they want every blockchain has a query or wants to interact with a new blockchain or a different blockchain then or they want to interact with wallets, exchanges, NFT marketplace, launch pads, metaverse, DeFi protocols, P2E gaming. These all uh, different uh, utilities or use cases of blockchain will require a protocol like Marshall. And it, this is where Marshall looks really good to me because they are building, they are constantly uh, creating different partnerships. So as investor perspective, this is a high risk, high reward play. Again, as I told you, it's a $10 million market cap. So it is a small market cap. And when it comes to small, it's high risk, high reward. So if we look at their circulating supply, it is close to 25 million and their total supply is 100 million. So almost 25% is in the circulation. So hence its market cap is 10 million, but the fully diluted is around 41 million. So not that big. Uh, let's just check graph protocols market cap as of today. So if you look at graphs market cap today, it's almost $2.5 billion. And this is just $10 million. So you can see there is a good risk to reward ratio. Even if it reaches to 10% of graph, then it is 250 million, which is 25 X from here. So it's a good risk to reward ratio. Again, as I told you, it's a high risk play. So please do your research and do not go crazy with small cap market but the project is certainly looking very very interesting to me so as i told you they are building partnerships uh one thing which i found very interesting again is nft indexers uh, let me go to the tweet yeah introducing world's first decentralized nft indexers so if we visit that world's first decentralized nft indexer you can also become an indexer and join the system you can run a node and they have given details of who can be an indexer what will you require and again being an indexer will require 
certain amount of marsh tokens so there is one utility for marsh over there and if you're looking to join run a node become an indexer you can do that but so again as i told you this are all different and interesting applications for marshall and hence i find this project interesting now we have seen the basic overall project there is an opportunity to stake also. They are currently going out with staking and it's a 90 day stake and there is still 79 days are left to uh, for the staking to end. And the APR is at around 32.50. So there is, you can stake Marsh and the total rewards would be at approximately 5 million. 50 million marsh will be the total reward. So if you're looking to buy some and stake again, a good passive income opportunity in my opinion. So go and check that Twitter, go and talk to the community heads or community leaders in Telegram and then only take your decisions. Now, this is something which again, I found very interesting. In the latest blog by Coinbase, where they have mentioned a potential listing and of 50 different crypto assets the following are under consideration again this is no guarantee they are considering they might list they might not list but in this list of 50 assets we can see marshall over there so if at all it gets a coinbase listing again as you all know it will be a big push to the project and hence this can be a good investing opportunity we will quickly take an overview of the chart also this is a Marsh daily chart. And uh, as you can see, it's currently finding a good consolidation in a range and it's currently good, forming a good bottoming structure. So again, uh, as per chart, this is looking one of good zones to definitely DCA if you are interesting to, <coughs> sorry, if you're interesting to buy Marsh. Again, guys, realize there is a full chance that we might see sideways momentum and time for a good two months or even a year consider that so do not expect anything to pump right away if it does you are lucky but if it does not then it should not disappoint you so have a realistic expectation and then if you are holding this project i think it would definitely be a good buy if you find a good pump that is great what I really like this, this, this is Marsh Ethereum chart. And if you see this, this is a weekly chart and there is a hidden bullish divergence on the weekly chart. So I think this is something which is positive. If there is a hidden bullish divergence against Ethereum, then it can definitely pump against USDT once it breaks this. The green line that you see, that is 21 weekly and currently that is acting as resistance. Once if we break this and flip this into support, I think things can go really crazy and it can get a good impulse move on the upside. So Marsh Ethereum chart is looking good. You can see over here, we might get a good cross of 21 daily EMA with 89 daily EMA soon on the ETH chart and even usdt chart is looking good it's forming a good bottom so this would not be a good time or not be a bad time to buy if you find this project interesting again this is no uh, compulsion just to let you know but if you find this project interesting i think this is a good time to at least have some and then if it goes down you can buy some more so this is overall an overview of marshall i find this project interesting and hence I provided with a project overview. I also provided you with its market cap and a possible Coinbase listing news and an overview of technical analysis. So if you find this video interesting, guys, do subscribe to the channel, like the video, support Bitcoin Gem community and share it with others. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.